and the depth of thermal generation substitution that we have to carry out in uh, Europe is so deep that there is no issue of that sort until probably mid-30s. Uh, by then, probably, uh, and I say probably because we're not yet sure, uh, the way of producing electricity, um, hydrogen through electricity, so hydrolyzers, will be competitive with uh, today's uh, hydrogen uh, carbon heavy footprint uh, production. And so if that happens, we would have uh, a, a, a possibility of storing excess energy into hydrogen. The issue is that this technology is not there yet and we don't have it commercially viable at this stage. So all the efforts are in making it happen. If that happens, then of course we have a fantastic energy storage system that could be helpful for the decade after 2030. So until 2030, there is no issue. In, okay, then that's absolutely fascinating. But what about the competition for capital, of course, because hydrogen will want its own great slice of that as well. Is enough capital now, and, and you and I have referenced the IA many times over the years and, and, and the amount of trillions of dollars that is needed on both sides of the Atlantic, globally even, uh, as well. Is the capital finding the right place? Because as we know, more than ever, there is more uh, renewable and sustainable capital available. Well, you know, there is a, there is a distinction to be made here. Capital that looks for commercially operations and, and commercially available solutions is the big chunk. And today that goes into renewables. Capital that looks for technologies that might become viable, that's a different type of capital. The order of magnitude is at least two times smaller. And therefore, there is no competition for capital between hydrogen and renewables. I mean, it's, it's completely ball, different ball game. Hydrogen today is a niche, and it is a niche that needs to develop into commercial um, standard and into in big industry uh, uh, um, competitive uh, pricing. And it would take probably 10 years before we get there. So it's a big effort in R&D. It's a big effort in prototypes. It's a big effort in um, pilot plants, but nothing compared to what goes on on the very large and competitive battlefield of renewables today. So again, it's a question of Will that happen? Maybe in 10 years, who will know? And at that time, we will have this, this issue, not now.